plus a card. Welcome back. Oh, awesome, beautiful. So what I wanna do is just pop the link into the chat in case anyone wants to hop on live with me. There we go. Hi, Eileen, how are you? Hi, Debbie, hi, Lorraine, hi, CJ. Okay, while I give it a minute to see who's gonna hop on today, I just wanna pull us a card. Again, using the Carly Oracle deck because I felt very cool to work with her this week as we make our way through healing the wounded feminine aspects of ourselves. Thank you. Okay, <gasps> beautiful. Okay, so we've got Kalaratri, that's the card. A process of profound and enduring transformation is leading you towards a powerful rebirth, free from even the most persistent patterns or pains of your past. Your soul is in deep healing. Recovery can be painful, but you will emerge renewed and released. You are blessed to experience a new life within this lifetime. Oh my God. So what the hell? I love how these cards work. You can't make it up. This is literally what I was talking about yesterday. When we do this work, we're able to shift timelines. This is how I see a rebirth. It's like a conscious rebirth. We're doing the healing. It's paying off. It did, didn't it, Lorraine? <laughs> Wow, beautiful. I'm just admitting some more ladies into the room here. How are you all feeling after yesterday? Feel free to use the chat. Let me know how you're feeling. I know a lot of you had um, some deep feels come up. Some of you had visions of your other lifetime where you were persecuted as a witch. If you're just joining in on day two today, no worries. You can go back and watch the replay. It's in the announcements. And it was also emailed out um, yesterday after the call. So what a beautiful card. That was absolutely perfect. And I just want to honour you all for being here because you're here because you've been listening to your soul. You saw, the, you saw the event and for whatever reason you signed up because you knew that it's time for you to heal this aspect of you okay so i'm bringing you the three core wounds i see in women that come to work with me this week on monday i'm going to be doing a bonus master class which is actually called healing the wounded feminine so that master class on its own i'm going to be talking about this wounded feminine how it's presenting in this life and how it came to be and what we can do to clear it today we're going to be clearing ancestral cords contracts and agreements or oath vows and agreements, something like that. I'll explain it when we get to it. We're going to be clearing that. Um, a lot of you did want the mother or father wound. And I thought to be fair, we'll keep it at ancestral. You may hear my son in the background. He has special needs and he is home today. So, so far, so good. He is uh, behaving himself. <laughs> I think any mum can uh, resonate with that. Okay. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get straight into the training for today. Then we're going to do the clearing, clearing. exactly, Eileen, <laughs> hashtag mum life. So many mum life moments as a woman in business. By the way, are you all in business? Are you wanting to start a spiritual business or are you just here because you felt the calling? You don't have to be in business, by the way, to be here. Um, this week or to continue on with me long after the call. Um, I have a special needs child myself. Yeah, it's um, difficult but rewarding, isn't it? With any child. <laughs> difficult but rewarding. Let's get to it, ladies. Okay, you're a biz mum. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Okay, so I won't be able to see the comments that come through just while I'm doing this presentation, but I will check in with you all afterwards. Okay. Welcome, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah Lines, soul alchemist and business strategist, and I lead visionary women into super conscious creation to manifest the life and business of their dreams. So welcome back. Uh, welcome to day two. Uh, just a reminder there to be in the prize draw to win either a booked out one-on-one -on -one session with me or I'm still waiting for the other prizes to drop into my awareness what they're going to be, but I'm sure they will be absolutely cool. Uh, just share a screenshot from today and tag me on Facebook or Instagram. Let me just check the chat here, make sure. Yeah. So you'd get it, darling. All right, welcome to Clearing the Ancestral Wounds. I'm going to have a little chat to you about what this is and why you may need to clear this today. So as descendants of our ancestors, we unconsciously carry their experiences in our DNA. And so do our children and their children. Ooh, I need to move. I'm going to make that smaller. Oh, that's better. Okay, so for example, if, if an ancestor, if one of our ancestors were victims from genocide, you may carry an unconscious paradigm of victimhood, feeling hunted, or have a mysterious fear of even fire, depending on what your ancestors went through. Healing ancestral wounding can greatly shift this. And the same is true for our money patterns. So I'm really big on making money okay to want in our lives because money is just energy and good people do good things with money all right so i'm a really big advocate for spiritual women making money many health issues whether emotional mental or physical can be traced back to events and traumas going back generations in the family tree this is proven through the study of epigenetics. In our patriarchal culture, which we're shifting out of, women are conditioned to think of themselves as lesser than, uh, not deserving or not worthy. And this feeling of lesser than has been internalized and passed down through countless generations of women. For example, if a daughter, this is purely an example, if a daughter internalizes her mother's unconscious beliefs, then she has her mother's approval. But in some way, she feels like she's betraying herself and her potential because she is, yeah? But on the other hand, if she doesn't internalize her mother's beliefs in her own limitations, but rather affirms her power and potential, she is still aware that her mother may consciously or con unconsciously see this as a personal rejection. So like I said, that was purely an example. Our ancestors have survived and have done so for the survival of the next generations to come. Their descendants, including you and your children, the struggles and joys that they experienced are something to hold much gratitude for. So we can get really stuck um, in these holding patterns of where we're at. And sometimes we don't even know their ancestral woundings. So that's my int intention for you ladies today is to really feel into this. The long journeys on land and by ship to escape overtaken lands, war, famine, oppressive regimes, were done to unearth a better life for themselves and for us. This notion is humbling and something to be very grateful for. If we break the chain of addiction, violence or other inherited limiting financial beliefs, our children and their children and those who follow them are given access to possibilities not available to their ancestors and thus the entire lineage evolves so we are literally shifting paradigms for our descendants 
You are a link in a chain of causation that stretches before and after your life for a thousand generations. So you'll often hear in the spiritual communities, seven generations backwards, seven generations forwards. It's actually a lot more than that. Not only is it possible to evolve your lineage in both directions, but also to have this awareness cuts to the core of the true nature of human beings. We're here in a body appearing to be separate. We appear to lead separate lives, to have different experiences, beliefs and opinions about what is true and right and how the world works. But this is true just at the level of appearances. We are all part of this great cosmic symphony of particles and light dancing together, energy that's actually never destroyed. It's only ever transformed. And as you step to the front of the line in your ancestry, the energy they embodied has been passed on and is now expressing as you and those of your current generation in the lineage. As you transform, the energy of the entire lineage preceding you is transformed. And for it is all happening now through you and as you. So this is powerful stuff, right? You are the one who can heal old wounds for your entire lineage, forgive old enemies, shift conditioning and beliefs, release pain that has been held preceding generations captive for centuries. This is the gift that you bring them. For as they departed, they left behind the residue of their unfinished business. Passed down through the ages, held in place by the unspoken family agreement to perpetuate it. That is up until now. I'm getting chills. Anyone else getting chills? <laughs> and now it's your turn, goddess bringing completion to prior generations and setting up what happens for future generations now depends on you. You can take this as a burden and decline to answer the call. This is how the wound keeps reproducing itself. Or you can see this as a beautiful sacred gift and an honour and an opportunity to contribute to those you'll never see or know not in your human life anyway, <laughs> those who may never know your name, you can choose to do the work of healing for yourself and for them. Your people might have been survivors having lived through war or other atrocities. Many fought the battles inner and outer with those conflicts having been passed on to you. Perhaps you come from a lineage of famine from those who experienced extreme poverty but our job here is to be the light that we already are and reflect that light outwards so that others might find their own way in the darkness. The wound we carry dims that light. And as we do the work of transforming our wounds into gifts that help to bring about healing, we literally begin to shine. We become radiant beings who reflect their true nature which is luminosity. It takes courage to do the work of healing. It's not comfortable, convenient or easy. It means the end of denial, pretending and avoiding. It means being radically honest with yourself and those around you. And this is actually how we recalibrate the DNA. Yes, you got it, Lorraine. If we're healing and transforming the wounds we carry from those who came before us, we're also changing the trajectory of those who are coming after us. Those who follow will have a different standard as the foundation for the lineage. Beautiful work. If we break the chain of lack and poverty or other inherited limiting beliefs, our children and their children and those who follow them are given access to possibilities not available to the ancestors. And so the entire lineage evolves. It's time we all woke up from the dream. In doing the work of awakening, we're invited to rise up 
and see what lies beyond the wound. What possibilities await our arrival at the place of conscious choice. And that is exactly where you are today. What's possible when we live our lives fully embracing ourselves as the magnificent beings we truly are? I invite you to consider making this choice for the thousands of people you represent today. So are you ready to clear the ancestral wound? Type a yes in the comments, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on Zoom, just give me a yes. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, Debbie, this absolutely helps clear the effect, um, the collective energies. So if you don't have children, you're still clearing the family line for those that came before you. You're still clearing, uh, changing the trajectory of your own future and also those whose lives you touch and those whose lives you don't touch, okay? Definitely energy is collective. So the way I see this, if anyone has seen Trolls, there's a really beautiful moment in that movie where all of their lights are dimmed and then one of them decides to sing and light up and then the other ones decide to light up. And that's the way I see collective energy and collective healing is I'm lighting up, I'm helping someone I don't even know light up just by making that conscious choice. It's so beautiful and it's so big. So again, like I said, today I am sharing lessons with you from my program, The Oracle Priestess. I just want to click these little buttons here because it looks pretty. And like I said, I'll talk about that a little bit later on. So what does it mean to heal our ancestral karma, those wounds, and how do we do this? Ancestral lineage healing is a spiritual process to connect with the ancestors in order to resolve and repair their emotional distresses and traumas. This healing is done to release you from energetic patterns that inhibit and disrupt your life. You may choose to do this through ceremony, through prayer, or even a meditative journey. So let's just try this now. I'm going to be running an alignment shortly, but I would just love you all to feel into this and you can either repeat after me or say it in your mind or literally read off the screen. Feel free to screenshot this. I offer light and I pour liberation with respect and honour for all of my ancestors whose names I know and all the ones I don't know to uplift and liberate their soul in the name and light of creator. You may feel called to place your hands over your heart as you say that. You might wanna place your hands up in the receiving position or even sending, maybe prayer hands, or whatever you feel called to do. moving along so let's clear I'm going to take you through the ancestral um what's it called let me get it up <laughs> let's get out of that okay it is clearing ancestral karma oaths vows contracts and agreements so just like yesterday, we're going to be connecting in with the heart of Gaia, the heart of your higher self and the heart of creation uh, so that we can run this alignment in a really beautiful, open way. Okay, so let's do this. I have some music on my phone. I'm going to pop it over here. Oh, who can I see? So just uh, let me know in the comments there if that music's okay. I, hopefully it's not too loud. 
Yeah. <laughs> Trolls are one of my faves. I love that message within it. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, we got lots of yeses on Facebook. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to get started. If anyone thinks that music is too loud, please just let me know. Oh, you don't hear anything. Okay, well, that's better than it being too loud. <laughs> okay. So just like yesterday, we're going to close down our eyes. And just having a yes in your mind, if you give me access to your higher self and soul records for the purpose of running this alignment today. Beautiful, just getting nice and comfortable, dropping your awareness down into your heart space. Breathing slowly and deeply, imagining that you can breathe in and out through your heart. Nice and slow. Becoming fully present in this now moment. I'm just calling back all parts and pieces of you here. Calling back all aspects of you so that all of you can receive this healing today. And as you do this, just noticing those pink sparkles of light that surround you now, that beautiful pink light of compassion. And start to breathe this light into your body, noticing how it lights up all the cells and molecules in your body. Breathing this light into your heart space. Allowing it to open and expand your heart. Beautiful. And now feeling into that cord of connection that always exists between your heart and the heart of Gaia. Feeling into that beautiful heart energy from Gaia, that loving, nurturing energy. Drawing up her beautiful heart light back up through your cord. Drawing this light into your heart space as it opens and expands your heart even more here. Good. And now filling into that cord of connection that always exists between your heart and the heart of your higher self. Feeling into that heart to heart connection. Connecting consciousness to consciousness. And if it feels good to you in this moment, just allowing your higher self to drop down into your body now and merge with you now. Good. Just taking a moment here to call in your divine aspect. Calling in your I am presence. The highest aspect of your higher self. Beautiful. Now feeling into that cord of connection that always exists between your heart and the heart of creator. Feeling into that heart to heart connection as you begin to draw down that unconditional love. Drawing down that beautiful, infinite, white iridescent light, drawing it down in through your crown and down into your heart. Where this creator light mixes with the golden light from Gaia and the pink light of compassion, 
creating a beautiful ball of iridescent rose gold light. And now using your breath to send this light out through your body. Sending this light out beyond your physical body at least 12 feet in all directions. Creating a beautiful ball of iridescent rose gold light that you are now in the center of. And just take a moment here to feel how loved, safe, nurtured and protected you are inside this space. Good. And now witnessing a space open up in the floor beneath you so that you inside your circle of light can drop down into the earth, dropping deep into the earth mother, dropping down into her heart space, getting nice and settled here. Taking a deep breath and centering yourself in the most sacred space of your heart here. Calling in your ancestors to surround you now as you receive this sacred soul alignment. Calling in clearing ancestral karma, oaths, vows, contracts, and agreements now. Divine Mother Mike, create a change it. Thank you. Okay, breathing through the energy as it begins to run. The people who came before us our ancestral line continue to live within us through the generational inheritance that we carry. This can manifest as physical traits as well as character and personality attributes. And some of these ancestral patterns, such as karma, oaths, vows and contracts can influence us in our current lifetime in ways that are destructive and damaging. This alignment will resolve the oaths, vows, contracts and agreements that we are holding for our ancestors that are no longer serving us, marking these lessons as downloaded, finished, and complete. Good, and we're just gonna stay and sit in this energy. I'm just noticing what comes through for you, whether it's a feeling a vision or a knowing. There are many ancestors surrounding each of you now, holding space for you as you clear the karma today. Good, you're doing good, just staying with it. I'm just staying with this energy as I anchor it in. 
anchoring it into your heart and into your high heart. A lot of sadness coming through here. Anchoring this energy into your mind and your higher mind. Anchoring it into every cell of your body, into the DNA, into all the chakras and all the subtle bodies and all areas of your life. Anchoring this down into your earth star, into the heart chakra of Gaia, into your soul grid, and the 12th dimensional grid system. Beautiful. If you've had some heavy feelings come through, just stay with that energy. Debbie says, your inner ears feel hot. Yes. Hi, Nikki. Some of you may feel called just to actually sit and stay in this energy, but please know that it will continue to run after the call as long as necessary, as guided by your higher self and soul records in the perfect pace as is most optimal for you. But I'm just going to disconnect there from your higher self and soul records. Um, my girl parts are heavy. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of physical sensations coming through on this. Intense pain in the cycle. Yeah. There's a lot of cords and contracts uh, being cut from the sacral from, and again, trigger warning, from ancestral wounding of, I'm getting slavery and sexual traumas are being cleared. Um, so just continue to receive what I'm going to do now as you ladies keep uh, sharing with us how you're feeling and what's coming through for you I would love to just um well first of all apologies for my son in the background <laughs> he he can have pretty wiry days and this is one of them so I just want to give you a little imagery of what it might look like if you decide that you and me are an energetic match that we vibe and that you would like to continue this journey of empowerment on the priestess path I just want to show you what that may look like for you okay so it's called the oracle priestess and it's just it's pure magic and I'm going to show you what the modules will look like. This is to shift, a shift from that wounded woman aspect that we're still carrying into the empowered priestess version of ourselves. And this is doing it, yes, it's doing it for you, but it's doing it for all versions of you in all timelines. It's doing it for your ancestry and for other women across the planet. This is so big. So... Again, I typically work with spiritual entrepreneurs, but this program has come through really open to any woman. So you will notice that I talk about here, are you trapped in a mindset of scarcity, smallness and suffering? It's time to ditch the poverty princess who tells you that making money is hard and life is meant to be a struggle and shift into an empowered priestess who uses her sacred gifts to light up the world and openly receive divine compensation. You do not have to be in business for this activations to take place, to shift those old paradigms. You can still create abundance and magic in your life. Okay, so module one is the actual Oracle Priestess, and we're going to be doing an African initiation with Yoruba goddess Oya that will be a completely channeled um, journey and activation. 
sorry, initiation. This is so that you can really unlock your spiritual magic and powers, <coughs> pardon me, as well as the wealthy priestess codes to co-create so that your mind, body, and spirit can feel deeply soaked in infinite riches, knowledge, love and wisdom that is going to be just so magical module two is the purpose priestess and we're going to be facilitating a goddess voice activation with the wood nymph canons like oh i'm getting chills on that here you will awaken your treasure trove of natural gifts talents and abilities and watch the abundance flow in as you share them with the world guilt and shame free and we're going to be clearing some of that guilt and shame tomorrow for the prostitution uh, wound. <clears throat> Module three is the abundant priestess. We're going to be facilitating a wealth ritual with Cherokee wealth spirit. She's actually up here. Her name is Healaya and her spirit is actually um, attached to that gorgeous Native American doll, you see there. So she is going to come through and help us with that ritual so that you can dance out that toxic energy, draining your life force and awaken the limitless energy of your soul to feel vibrant, lit up and ready to be the creatrix priestess of your own reality. This is about living life on purpose, yeah? Module four is the warrior priestess. We're going to do a warrior ceremony with, with our ancestors. Oh, I feel a lot of shamanic vibes coming through there and possibly a fire ceremony. But like I said, it's always channeled from, from who comes through. Uh, we're going to shake off the burden of others' expectations of you and shift into a confident woman who clearly knows what her soul wants to do and be and isn't afraid to tell people. That's so empowering, isn't it? Okay, module five is the shadow priestess. We're going to do a sweat lodge spiritual cleansing with goddess Azra so that you can feel deeply interconnected, seen, supported, and in tune with your inner priestess as you use your creatrix energy to heal the emotional blocks so that you can raise your vibration to birth a new divine reality of riches or a new divine reality of what it is you are creating in your life. And the last module is the wise priestess. We're going to do a rebirth ceremony with goddess. Oh God, I'm going to have to connect with her. I just know that she came through uh, and I believe it's actually Ostara, but this is the way they wanted me to put it. So I'm going to have to do a little connection with her and ask her how she wants me to um, pronounce her name. We're going to feel deep peace and clarity as you uncover your sacred Akashic records, holding the blueprint to your path and your purpose. We will finally have you saying, I now know what to do, right? So there are a few ways you can come, can, can come into this space. Sorry, my, my son is so high vibrational right now. Oh my God. We bounce off each other all the time. It's so funny, but it's beautiful. Okay, there's a few ways you can come into this. I'm going to explain it right now. This is an early bird activation bonus. So if you join by the 31st of March, you'll not only save $1,000 off this, you will get access to one of my signature programs, Activate Riches. So you'll actually get instant access to this where there is a mother wound clearing, ancestral clearings, witch wound uh, regression, past life regression. So we clear everything that we've spoken about this week, but there's also some other really Really juicy juicy activations in there so you get instant access to that to go through until the program starts in april totally cool total value is 11997 and when you join by the end of next week so i've given you quite an extended uh, period of early bird time here um, you get to save a thousand dollars and as you can see there's a few options to come in obviously you save if you come in on a full payment but we have um, other flexible payment options so thank you again for joining me today i am so excited about tomorrow oh by the way nikki can you pop the link oh you might not have the link that's okay i'll pop the link in the comments i'm just going to get out of that um please any questions from today pop them there in the comments i'll be happy to 
answer them now. If you're live with me on Zoom, feel free to unmute yourself and talk us through how you're feeling. Um, because of the nature of these clearings, so the, the witch wound is quite an old wound. It's, it, we've been carrying it for a long time. The ancestral wounds, some of these wounds we've been carrying since the dawn of time. So please be gentle on yourself after today. If you feel irritable, let yourself feel irritable. If you feel tired, take a nap. It's totally fine. Just honor your body and how you're feeling in the moment. If you feel like some sugar, go and have that sugar because it's just your body trying to ground you. Okay, I'm just going to check it on the comments here. So, yes, it does, Debbie. Uh, so, ladies on Facebook, I was just asked, does this clear something from 98 maternal generations ago? The answer, the short answer to that is yes. But there is obviously a longer answer. This was a very general ancestral clearing. Yes, we our intention was to clear any karma, oath, vows, contracts and agreements. And the way the healing works is it's in layers. So we've done, we've done a layer of that. What you could do, Debbie, is re-listen to this with the intention of clearing whatever that wound, maternal wound was 98 generations ago and just allow it to clear that layer. Yes, Lorraine. Yep. Yep. You're awesome, darling. Um, you're... <laughs> I've got all like scattered in the energy. I need to ground myself. But you are awesome. <laughs> um, so I've popped it there, Nikki. The link is there. No worries. No, I should have given it to you. Should have given it to you first. <laughs> okay. Do we have any questions coming through? Feel free to ask me anything. Now is the time. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to be uh, going through the prostitution wound. Well, that's a big one if you have uh, big money blocks, or guilt around receiving money. Um, yeah, all the things. We'll, we'll get into it tomorrow. I'm really excited about it though. Oh, so many layers. Yes, Lorraine, you are right. <laughs> Okay, well, if we have no questions coming in, I'm going to send you all lots of love. We've got the link there for the Oracle Priestess, and I would just be honoured to have you continue this journey with me. It's going to be so magical and so sacred. Um, you're welcome. So welcome. You're welcome, Lisa. Okay, yes, I'll see you tomorrow, Debbie. See you tomorrow, ladies. Sending you lots of love. Bye.